Day of the Dead is a multi-day festival celebration that happens every year from October 31st to November 2nd. Joining us now is our own Gracia Lopez with more <laughs> on this holiday yes. and how Hollywood has embraced yes. it. Yes, Danny, Kessie, I'm so excited to be here and talk to you guys about something that is near and dear to my heart, El Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead. So for those of you at home who are familiar with Day of the Dead but don't really know what it means, it's a holiday that pays tribute to our loved ones who are now deceased, mm -hmm. you know, our loved ones who we care about and love so much but have now parted ways and are at the other end of the world. So this tradition actually originated in Mexico and it has marked its way through Latin America and has now, it's spilling into the U.S. and it's spilling into Hollywood yes. because, you know, we've been seeing so many Hollywood productions. Mm -hmm. We've had mm -hmm. Coco, The Book of Life, and so many more. So for the Day of the Dead, families gather. They gather wrong and we make what we call ofrendas. So ofrendas are small, personal altars where we have a picture of the loved one, we have some flowers, we have some cake, we have their favorite music playing in the background while we're making these ofrendas because what we believe is that the music brings them back to life. Mm. Really? So that's what happens at the altar? That is exactly what happens wow. at the altar. That's what we believe. So while, while the families are gathered around creating these beautiful personal altars, they're, Danny, you like Beyonce. I so do. if somebody <laughs> makes you yeah. an altar, they're going to play Diva or Halo. That's and right. Your spirit <laughs> and my Beyonce Barbie. And join us. My Beyonce Barbie's going to be right there on my old friend. Yes, yeah. Yep, 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 and yep. Cassie, you like country, so they're going to put a little, you know, a country music right there. A little okay. Hat, and you're going to come back and dance it out and do your little two step. Got my cowboy <laughs> boots in my hat. If I come back doing single yes. ladies, don't be surprised, okay? All right. Yeah, so what we also believe, though, is that not only does their soul come back and join us when we're making that ofrenda, but we believe that they're with us throughout the Day of the Dead festivities because yeah. it is a multi-day festival. Mm -hmm. starts at the end of October and today is the last day. So yeah. they could be right here with us. I know you're a very spiritual person. So I am. <laughs> I get signs all the time. They're with us. Right, yeah. right, right, so right, they're right. probably here with us. So well, let's talk about what's with what us else now. is with yeah. us. Yeah. Okay, so I brought some pan de muerto, yes. which is wow. Bread of the Dead. You guys can't smell this. It smells so, so good. Do you good. smell it? Yeah, it smells so good. Yeah. So this is just an example of a candle that can be uh, seen at the altar. Right. And this pan de muerto is a traditional pastry that is placed on the altar. So we have the big one and then we also have the little one so people can, you know, come in and enjoy, take a bite. So should um, I'm going to actually show you. <laughs> absolutely oh, should. Do you know we have Italian? Don't let like me with yeah. a good time. The the show you guys. Actually, my family just got together over the weekend, yeah. and we made one altar. So I'm going to show you guys. Oh, oh yes. wow. That's so, so we do that every year. That is my Tia Angelica, who sadly is no longer with us. Yeah. But we are keeping her spirit alive by making her an ofrenda. So that is what you get. And those flowers specifically are the ones, are the traditional flower that are in every single ofrenda. For those of you who have seen Coco, right. that is the flower that is all over that movie. Well, you just mentioned Coco. Let's mm -hmm. talk about because, uh, as you mentioned at the top of this segment, like Hollywood is really starting to yes. embrace Day of the Dead and Dia de los Muertos. Let's talk, yep. talk about it. So Back to this bread. So this pan de muerto is actually very high in demand right now. Mm -hmm. Not only for the celebration, but because of Hollywood productions. Because around this time mm -hmm. of year, there's so many Hollywood uh, yeah. Hollywood videos yeah. doing about Day of the Dead and all the celebrations. So they are sold out in all the mom and pop shops bakeries. So shout out to those little panaderias who are baking up all mm -hmm. night for us to enjoy these. They're really good. Thank you. It is Thank you. so good. So again, we are seeing, as a Latina in the entertainment industry, I absolutely love this because we are seeing the culture come into Hollywood mm. because representation matters. Absolutely, 100%. Preach, girl. You better yes. preach that. So, but Coco was, I mean, it's done amazing in the box office. And mm -hmm. it, it introduced a lot of kids and families and right. just American audiences to Mexican culture. Which is yes, awesome. it has. Coco, big shout out to Disney because, again, representation mm. matters. This was like the first Mexican traditional movie. Yeah. It was huge. We also had The Book of Life with Channing Tatum, Zoe Zaldana, and Diego Luna. And then, of course, Mr. 007 got his little dose of Day yeah. of the Dead. This was the <laughs> opening scene of the movie Spectre back in 2015. We saw Mr. James Bond right in the middle of a the Mexico City where they're having a big Day of the Dead celebration. So again, Hollywood, thank you so much for showing yeah. the celebration because it means so much to us and again, representation matters. And thank you, Grecia, know, for like you gifting so us much. with the bread and schooling us <laughs> on welcome. the other smart I'm going to have a piece right now. Yes, take it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, girl.